All right, welcome back to photosynthesis. In the last video, we talked about charge separation. We also talked about the function of the P680 reaction center, something that is very, very critical for photosynthetic electron transport. And we get this charge separation, and I want to do a very quick review. This is not by any means a molecular diagram. This is just an energy and electron diagram. Remember that we get these electrons that start off in the donor, which is P680 special pair. Paired up, low energy. As soon as a UV photon strikes the P680 reaction center, one of those electrons goes up into an excited energy state. This high energy electron right here, and by the way, this part of the diagram is this over here, okay? The higher energy electron can be transferred to a nearby electron acceptor, which in the case of photosystem 2 is this acceptor pheophyton, okay? And when that electron is transferred to the acceptor pheophyton, the excited molecule is no longer excited. It's now, it now has an electron hole. It's lost an electron. It transferred that electron. This D plus is P680 plus, or the special pair plus. It's lost an electron, and it needs another electron to fill that hole. The acceptor A minus, this is our pheophyton, has now been reduced. It's now A minus, whereas before the transfer, it was just A. This electron that's in pheophyton will be transferred to another acceptor down the chain. And you can go back to the slide and look and see exactly what the electron acceptors are. We have plastoquinone A, plastoquinone B, and we'll transfer all the way up until we get to this proton pumping complex, cytochrome B6F. Okay? But the fact remains, we have this electron hole for P680. It needs another electron so it can get back down to this state over here in the bottom left. How does it get those electrons? Well, we have to go back to something we probably learned in high school biology or some kind of general biology class. Plants make oxygen. We have this big concept in biology that organisms like us, we intake the oxygen and we know that the plants make it. But what, what is the reason that plants make oxygen? They don't make it for themselves. They certainly don't necessarily make it for us. Oxygen is a waste product of plant metabolism, particularly of photosystem 2. Plants require water. It's the water that they're using. And the net reaction is to take water and siphon, one at a time, all four electrons off of water. And that's going to give us oxygen. That's the oxygen we breathe. And so this, oh, this enzyme that we're going to look at, the oxygen evolving complex, is going to split water. It's going to split all four electrons off of water. Thus, one name for it is the water splitting complex. But the fact that oxygen sort of bubbles off or evolves from the complex gives it the other name, oxygen evolving complex. So those two names, oxygen evolving complex and water splitting complex, refer to the same enzyme. All right, let's look at the very basic mechanics of the oxygen evolving complex. There is this inorganic kind of coenzyme or cofactor that exists in the active site. It has four manganese ions, and it, they're, they're basically connected ultimately through oxygen and calcium, okay? And the idea here is that the manganese ions can ultimately, they can accept electrons, okay? In other words, they'll be reduced. Now what this is trying to show right here is that the oxygen evolving complex has a main catalytic unit that's mostly inorganic in nature. It has four manganese ions, and they actually have different charges at rest, they're, and they're held together through oxygen bonds, and there's a calcium in there also. However, the direct electron transferring units are going to be the manganese ions. Now what this is trying to show, for lack of simplicity, is that electrons are ultimately given off one at a time. Okay, And that's very important because remember P680 only transfers one electron at a time. So P680 transfers an electron, the electron hole is filled by this complex by giving off an electron. Then P680 gives off another electron, and that electron is filled from another electron that's given off by this enzyme. And then P680 donates another one, and it's one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. Now, one of the things that's really important to understand is this is not fully resolved, but there is a little bit that we know. All right? Ultimately, at rest, we have four manganese ions. Three of them have a three-plus charge, and one of them has a four-plus charge. There's also 
a water in there that also has some role in electron transfer. At least that's what it's thought. So sequentially, one at a time, electrons are donated away until ultimately three of these manganese ions have had their three plus charge turned into a four plus, and then this particular water has been oxidized into a hydroxyl radical. In order to regenerate all of the resting states of these ions and including the water that became a, a, a hydroxyl radical, water needs to donate electrons and ultimately it's going to uh, be turned into molecular oxygen. And this is the oxygen that bubbles off. So literally, all the water is used to do is to give electrons back to this complex. And the oxygen is just a waste product. Now, what this is showing is that these electrons are actually transferred to a critical tyrosine residue, and then through a number of steps, those electrons from this tyrosine are transferred to P680's special pair. Okay? The point of this is, is that the electrons are going to be transferred one at a time to P680 special pair once that special pair has given up an electron. And these electrons will only go to the P680 once it's given up an electron. So the main thing to understand is this is a one at a time process. This electron goes to P680 once P680 gives up an electron. And then this electron goes to P680 once P680 is given up electron and on and on and on. But this water is just used to give its electrons back to the oxygen evolving complex and then oxygen bubbles off as a waste product. All right, so hopefully that kind of brings some of this together and some details that you learned a long time ago. So water donates electrons to P680 to fill the electron holes that are produced from these electron transfers. And here's our electron hole state right there. In order to get back to this state, you have to receive an electron from the oxygen evolving complex. Okay, and then just keep in mind we can breathe that oxygen.